Hey guys, so today for your lesson, you're going to learn um, about setting. We're gonna focus a lot this week on plot elements, but specifically we're gonna take a look at the setting of the plot and how that may impact the overall story. Sometimes the setting isn't as concrete. We don't necessarily know where something is taking place because the setting is not nearly as important. But sometimes setting can be super important and be almost like its own character in the story and drive the story forward. So just want to remind you, we have a lot of different elements of fiction. So we talked about plot and this week we just defined it kind of as the stuff that happens. That's what the plot is. The things that happen in the story makes up the plot. To have a story, you've got to have a setting. It needs to take place somewhere at some time. We need to have characters. And good stories have some form of conflict. And we'll talk about the various types of conflict as we move along. And then we've also covered theme that ultimately... When you combine the plot, the setting, the characters, and the conflict, a theme comes out, um, a big overarching message of the story that is trying to help you learn something or the characters are definitely changing and learning something throughout their plot of the story. Now, setting is made up of a number of different aspects. So first is time. If the story happened 200 years ago, People are going to talk different. They're going to dress different. They may interact with each other differently than they do now. You may have a book that was written 200 years ago that might just be a series of letters between two characters, where if that were today, writing letters might not be the way that two characters communicate from a distance. It might be a series of emails or text messages or even sending TikToks back and forth to one another. Um, and so the time really does impact how characters act, how they respond to one another, what's acceptable, what are the cultural and so social norms of that time. So time can be that specific, or it could just be the time of day, a story that happens at dawn says something, a story that happens at sunset or at midnight says something, or even a holiday, if it's at Thanksgiving, what do you expect to see at those kind of stories? So time is really an important aspect to set setting as place is. So sometimes it can be super specific that it happened at the Eiffel Tower in Paris, France, or it happened in someone's random bedroom. Like those kind of things help you get an idea of where your characters are standing, their environment around them, that place really is the gravity, where this is happening. And so it can be not as important, such as, thank you, ma'am, the place that it happens, what city, not so important, but happens outside where they run into each other, very important going to her home, you get a little bit of detail, but you don't really know what her home really looks like. It's not as important as the action. But then you have environmental factors. Oftentimes when the authors are talking about the environment, it becomes super important to the story. If it's raining and storming outside, it sets a tone, it sets a mood for what's happening with the character or what's about to happen with the character. So paying attention to, is it sunny and bright and rainbows or is it dark and stormy and foreboding and bad things are going to happen? So you're going to see this same slideshow um, listed. You need to listen to this story the storyteller, and then you're going to go back into your assignment and you're going to fill out this particular slide, some text clues to help you visualize the setting. You can draw here on how you visualize the setting. And then I want you to, what stuck with you? Um, it says a sticky note, you can draw, you can, may write, you have a choice on how you'd like to respond there. And then you have one more, um, 
slide here with, I, again, I want you to go back and listen to the story tell. I'll have more details on it on that video on what you're doing, but you are going to be filling this out in addition to listening to the story. If you have any questions, please email me through Canvas and I will get back to you. Thanks, guys.